alternating current, commonly referred to as AC, is an alternating flow of electrons. Electrons flow in one direction and then in the opposite direction at regular intervals. The sine wave is a graphical representation of alternating current, which is produced when a conductor cuts a magnetic field. The magnetic field is located between the north and south poles of the magnets shown at the left of this diagram. When the conductor X is located in the middle of the magnetic field, namely points A and C, the potential will be zero. As the conductor rotates from point A to point B or from C to D, the potential increases until its maximum is reached. As the conductor rotates from point B to point C or from D to A, the potential decreases until the level of zero potential is reached. Once the conductor has made one complete revolution in the magnetic field and has cut through the fields of both the north and south poles, we say that one cycle has been completed. The voltage reached at points B and D is called the peak voltage. As we can see, the voltage that's actually generated varies a great deal from the maximum or peak voltage. The actual effect that this voltage has on a circuit is called the effective voltage. The effective voltage can be found by multiplying the peak voltage by 0 0.707. For example, if the peak voltage was 100 volts, the effective voltage would be 100 times 0 0.707 or 70.7 volts. Simply stated, 100 volts of alternating current is equal to 70.7 volts of direct current. All electric meters are calibrated to read effective voltage and amperage. The number of cycles that are completed in one second is called the frequency and is measured in hertz. In most areas of the United States, the frequency of AC power is 60 hertz or 60 cycles per second. Another important factor that characterizes electric power supplies is the phase. The phase of an AC circuit is simply the number of currents that are flowing at different time intervals in the same circuit. This figure represents a single phase power supply, while the circuit represents three phase power. When one winding is used to create the stator or stationary portion of the alternator, single phase power is generated. When there are three separate windings in the stator, three phase power is generated. 